Well, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and I do have some news to tell you. Uh, if you're a supporter of mine and you received my exclusive video yesterday or the day before that, whenever it was, uh, you're going to know this part of the video. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I make exclusive videos at least once a week to all my awesome, awesome supporters. And they get news first, they get an exclusive video at least once a week. And if you want to get in on that, just uh, all you got to do is donate. It's that simple. I have links down below to my PayPal, buymeacoffee.com slash DDC, or you can join my Patreon. And if you do any of those things, uh, I put you on the list. And every week, you'll get my exclusive uh, videos and other stuff occasionally. It's like we're coming up on a uh, water a lake here a little lake but anyway uh, the news is that uh, since Cambodia has achieved a 90% vaccination rate among its uh, citizens or close to it uh, the, the report I read said that they were the second country or the second uh, country in that regard the, the best country in that regard second only to Singapore let me put it that way Singapore has more people vaccinated, but uh, other than that, they uh, they are the second ones, second in place to have vaccinated people, and that in, that study included uh, all the you know so-called first world countries, and because of that, um, the prime minister has announced that he is going to make some changes. And the, the biggest one, that I think the one that will concern most people that are, that are thinking about coming over here, is that this month starts the initiative to open the country back up again for tourism, letting people come back to the country. And I think uh, you will find this part the most interesting because he has said, the Prime Minister has said, that... Uh, he wants Cambodia to start thinking about uh, what you know everybody calls the new normal and basically all that means really is that uh, finding a way to live with this virus because it's not going away right anytime soon anyway so the new normal simply means that countries, all the countries all over the world, at some point are going to have to learn to uh, live with it, adapt to it somehow, and that will be considered the new normal. And Cambodia is uh, taking that step, the first step, by saying, uh, we are not going to start, or we are not going to do uh, testing on people who do not show any symptoms right now. They're going to stop that practice. People may go in and get tested if they wish, and if they exhibit symptoms, they will be tested. But no symptoms means no tests. Uh, yeah, I'm walking through some really brackish water here. But anyway, he says he wants to focus more on treating those who do test positive. Uh, the exceptions, of course, will be foreigners coming into the country once it reopens. They have to show, as part of the entry requirements, they will, be ha they will have to show a negative test from their country and they will be tested once they get here. But other than that, it appears that the Prime Minister is not, has told the, the provinces not to test people who are asymptomatic. So, 
there we go. There's the news. Not only is Cambodia uh, close to being number one in terms of uh, vaccinated people, but they also uh, are taking the initiative to reopen the country by uh, promoting this new normal, whatever. You know, nobody was really sure what that means, but that's the way I think of it is, uh, you know, eventually, like I said, we just have to learn to live with this because uh, these shots, could, these vaccines could probably be a yearly thing, you know, just like you get a flu shot every year. We can't find a cure for the cold, so uh, I'm doubting there's going to be a, a cure for a corona anytime soon. But I think that's pretty good news for people wanting to travel here that are fully vaccinated. And there could still be some uh, mandates here as far as wearing a mask, things like that. I know there are still restrictions on restaurants. You can only, uh, you know, uh, take away or have delivery. You can, there's no dining in. Well, there's not supposed to be anyway. Although I've seen, I've seen that happen. Uh, and really, that's about it for the news. That's all the news coming out of here. Since they started the initiative of not uh, fast testing people, you know, with them quick tests, uh, numbers of new cases have, of course, dropped significantly. Those two things will go hand in hand. So that's going to look good for the government. All right, let me see what's going on here before we have to. Every everything around here is uh, like surrounded by little lakes. <laughs> I'm afraid that we're gonna get really wet here. Uh, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. All right, we got our groceries. Uh, hey, chicken. About to be headed home. Uh, in lieu of the fact that uh, all of the markets are closed, I mean all the big markets where you normally go, Salu, Sasamaki, Sakralan, Sacha, all of those places are closed. We go to these little uh, places here, we usually have a variety of foods, you know your basics, dried fish hanging up there, fruits, vegetables, uh, all that good stuff and of course baked goods always good these things are yummy I love those things right here those things are really really good guys <clears throat> it's a good little snacky treat for like 50 cents a bag or something like that so we got all our food uh, uh, I thought we did anyway she's still talking got it in the backpack During rainy season, it's very common for me to like uh, have to wash my flip flops at least two or three times a week after being out walking around. Uh, as you can tell over here, uh, you got mud. Down the other way, you got mud, and we just walked through a, clearly what could be considered a pond, I think. <laughs> it was definitely deeper than what I thought. It went up uh, to my ankles. Gonna have to go home and scrub all that off, make sure I don't get any uh, infections in there. Hey, mama, how you doing? Ah, don't be scared. Don't be scared. I've noticed a couple things here. Uh, I think tadpole season is over for the frogs. Uh, and there you almost everywhere you walk we went to Luke's the other day went to Luke's the other day and uh, on walking up his little road which is of course dirt and filled with potholes so there's lots of water I looked down and just noticed all these little little tiny baby frogs I mean really small they almost look like uh, like those jumping spiders they have here that's how small they were and uh, but upon closer inspection I realized that they were that they were just frogs I looked down and tried to avoid stepping on any accidentally, but there were a lot of them. Kids were out there trying to collect them and play with them. That's always good to see. 
kids are naturally curious about nature and things in nature and uh, I will never discourage that but I hope they let them go <laughs> and didn't use them as an appetizer or, so, or something but it's amazing here in, in this part of town that at night uh, it, it just comes alive you know uh, you hear all the critters that you nor that you don't see during the day, man. You get uh, all the geckos making their gecko noises. You have uh, all the frogs and you have all the crickets, you know, vibrating their wings, trying to trying to find a mate, hoping not to get ate by a predator. It's very nice, very peaceful, and I like it because it's not so loud that you can hear it once you're inside with the door shut. So it doesn't. It's not. Uh, it's not the kind that's going to keep you awake at night. Although Luke says over by his apartment, uh, he can hear all the frogs very, very clearly, and sometimes they do. Uh, they're so loud, he says that uh, sometimes he has a hard time getting to sleep. But anyway, yeah, we got all kinds of critters. I'm always happy to see that. It always worries me when I see a nice patch of uh, land or something and I notice I don't see anything. <laughs> no bees, no wasps, no dragonflies, no, uh, no aphids, no nothing on the leaves. I don't like seeing that because uh, insects help keep things alive in this world. They're good to see is what I'm saying. Even that bee that's buzzing around my head right now trying to find a place to land on my hat. Alright, she's still talking. About what? I don't know. I'm telling you, man, shopping trips here, even a short little shopping trip <laughs> to a small little store can take a, can take a long time. I'm really good though. I, I go in, get what I need, and get out. But uh, I think I like to chatter. Yeah, look at this. Wow. It is muddy. All right, well, as I said, I will keep you guys uh, updated as soon as I hear anything about uh, which countries are going to be allowed in at what times. I know that's the big news everybody's waiting for. I'm waiting to give it to you. Finally be able to tell people some good news uh, for a change. See some puppies up there. You know I got to stop them. You know I got to stop and pet the puppies. See him over there by the mud puddles. Like five of them. Wow. But anyway, I'm going to uh, end this one here. It's a little short, but not much news really happening except for that. I wanted to get that out there. I'm cautiously, cautiously optimistic that uh, this will help revive the economy. And because of the high vaccination rate, it should be a, a safe place for people to come visit and live. And of course, they will be monitoring, uh, you know, community outbreaks and illegal border crossings and things like that. So those have been going on for a while. Oh, it looks like I dropped this. Yeah, that, that's going to be going on. No, those have been going on for a while, and they're getting really strict on that. Borders with Thailand and Vietnam. Uh, they've upped the patrols to prevent people from illegally crossing either into, Thai, into Vietnam or from Vietnam to Cambodia. 
And a lot of cases that we have here are uh, imported, like a lot, like a high percentage. Not all from illegal crossings, but uh, migrant workers and things like that get infected in other countries and then come back. So I did want to mention that, that even though Cambodia might not be exactly restriction free, like, like it was before this whole uh, thing started, they are taking positive steps to make sure it's as safe as possible while still giving its citizens the uh, freedoms and uh, the ability to move around and help out the economy. Uh, of course, they're also smart enough to know that if uh, the cases start spiking again, you know, that can always be rescinded at any time just by one phone call from the Prime Minister. So, it's still important to take care, to take caution. So, uh, everybody be safe, wear a mask, wash your hands, stay away from people. <laughs> we are... We are uh, germ magnets. All right, be sure to check out all my links down below. Like I said, if you want to donate, it really helps me out. Links to my PayPal, uh, buymeacoffee.com, and my Patreon are down below. Other channels vlogging in Cambodia are down below. Be sure to check all those out. I also have uh, links to my books and t-shirts. If you want to purchase any of those, that would be awesome. All my social media is down below and other things. All right. I will talk to you guys in the next one.